This is Sensei Buck Snyder. I'm a martial artist, nature lover, and total nerd. Come have fun with Sensei in the Wild. Alright guys, we're here with another snake video today. If you look in front of me, I have a diamond back water snake. Look at this cool little snake. It's a non-venomous snake, and remember we can tell that because it has round pupils in its eyes. So it does not have venom. This snake is aggressive if you try to handle it. They like to bite to defend themselves. And their favorite food is fish, so their teeth are made to be really sharp so they can hold on to fish. That means if they bite you, the, the bite is very painful. Now, if you look at it, it's got very rough scales on its back. I think this is a female based on a couple little things. I think it might be a pregnant female. Uh, these kind of snakes are stout and thick. If you notice how thick her tail is on the tip there, that's a definite sign of a diamondback water snake. And they get this name because if you look on the back, the pattern crisscrosses her back, making like a diamond pattern. We, got, we uh, showed you some pictures at the end where you can see it a little bit better. But one of the distinctive characteristics is they've got this diamond pattern on their back, and then they've got these stripes that go up and down on their sides. Okay, and for me, I always recognize the way her lips look. These lines that go up and down around her mouth, that's a telltale sign for me that it is a diamond back water snake. Now, a couple snake facts just in general that she's doing. If you notice, she's sticking out her tongue, and her tongue is black. That's common for a lot of snakes. Uh, she does that because, remember, they don't actually smell through their nose, they smell through their tongue. Their tongue goes out, catches information on the air, goes back into their body, and they can understand what, uh, what their surroundings based on what their tongue brings back. So if there was a predator, I mean, a predator nearby, if there was prey nearby, if there was water nearby, they'd be able to sense that through their tongue. And if you look, she's never blinked. That's because snakes have uh, clear membranes that cover their eyes. And whether they're awake or asleep, you can't see those membranes and you can't tell. When they shed their skin though, you can see those membranes come off on the shedding and it's clear like little domes. It looks pretty cool. Now this snake is, she's all knotted up right now because she's uh, kind of nervous in this aquarium. But this one is probably about two to three feet long and they get, they can grow up to five feet long. And people really don't know how long they live in the wild. But in captivity, they've lived as long as 10 years. And uh, they, they love to eat fish, like I said. They will eat frogs. And they have some unique hunting styles. One of the things that they like to do is hang over a slow-moving creek or river. And they hang from the branches of a tree. And they'll jump down, grab a fish out of the water, and eat it. Now, I've never seen that in real life. I've seen videos. I've never, all the time I've seen these snakes, they've always been in the water fishing. And like the little video I showed you at the beginning of this video, they like to completely submerge themselves and sit on the bottom of a creek and wait for a fish to go by to get them. That's actually how I got this snake. She was sitting in the bottom of the water and we got her. So uh, anyway, this is Diamondback Water Snake. One of the things that they do is they'll, just like most snakes, she'll try to, try to musk on you, which means she tries to poop on you. And musk is extremely smelly because of their fish diet. So it's a very strong, powerful odor. Uh, that, that really makes most predators run off and leave them alone. So she does have some unique pattern on her tummy. We'll show you some pictures of that where you can see her better. And um, basically this is an extremely, extremely common sna snake down here in Texas. You'll see them in all kinds of slow moving bayous, street, uh, streams, creeks. Um, I, I'd say they're probably the most common water snake around here. And um, like, but the thing is, most water snakes, just like this one, are extremely aggressive if they feel threatened. They will bite, and they'll bite multiple times, repeatedly, until the predator leaves them alone. So, uh, if you notice, the eyes are red, which is a very cool look. And this one kind of looks, it, it looks brown and tan in certain lights. It also looks kind of olive greenish in certain lights. So, pretty snake. Uh, we're going to take her and turn her free back into a safe part of the bayou where hopefully nothing will be able to bother her. Um, very cool snake. I'm not going to handle her though because I know she'll bite me. She will bite me repeatedly. <laughs> and I've been bitten so many times by snakes. I don't feel like getting bitten by a snake tonight. So anyway guys, check out these pictures we're going to show you.
Thank you very much and keep on watching.